Hi there. So let's say you just bought a Black Miner F1 Mini uh, FPGA, and you also just bought a Cooler Master 212 Evo that you want to stick on top of it. How do you go about that? Okay. Well, first off, there's this weird little bracket. Um, Let's see if we can focus. Come on. Uh, there we go. I don't know if you can see it, but there's three different spots. And you can just sort of pull it out or push from the side, right? And switch them. You want them all to be lined up as if it's 1155 in the instructions. Like, a, like an LGA 1155 chip. Uh, I actually think they show that specifically here. Uh, yeah, so you see how they're saying you put it in the middle hole, so you can just basically um, it's focus, you can push, and they'll switch holes, but I've already moved them all to the middle ones here. So check that, that's one thing you need to do. And then on your actual mini, F1, you want to open up your little bag of goodies that came with your cooler master and you'll see these guys and what these will let you do is stand off so basically one will go there and one will go there and there and there and you use these little bolts or nuts on the other side so let's do that Yeah, actually there is a difference in sides, so there's like a, this side's probably the side you want to go on. And I'm not going to get it super tight yet. And next one, I'll put through here. Oh. And then the next nut. Just I'm keeping it pretty loose at the moment. And then over on this side. There we go. And you'll have to apply some just a little bit of pressure on the back so it'll actually spin or rather not spin and then the last one there you go and yeah like I said I'm not getting these super super tight yet I'll tighten down everything once it's all lined up but you don't really want to I'm going to have a little bit of wiggle for whenever we now go back to um, the cooler itself so you notice the actual fan, right? Um, you need to pull that off. So there's like little clips. Be gentle, and there it'll just just be very gentle, and it'll come right off. And there you go. So there's the fan off. I'll put that over there. And now you've just got the uh, the radiator. Right. I don't think I actually need that. Now, before you take this, there's a little sticker there that you'll need to pull off. And there's, of course, also a sticker there that you'll need to take off. The FPGA chip is actually right under there. But first, let's make sure everybody lines up and is happy. 
So how this is basically going to go is there's your board, there's your radiator, and then this guy goes through. And you go through kind of like that, and then once you're in you can hold it up. Oh, although I've got it upside down. Yeah. Because these will go into those at each corner. Um, let's first figure out, is it that way? No, it's, yeah, okay, it's that way. Okay, so I'll pull that up, put that down, bring that up. Oh, another important thing to notice is, if you look, there's a little socket and a little pin. And what those line up to is, if you'll see here, there's a little, little springed device that goes into the socket, and there's little notches, and the pin will line up into one of those notches if you get it all right. So that's that. So I am going to take off stickers now. There you go, a Xilinx Kintex 7 FPA GA chip, FPGA chip. So you can make your own. Uh, those are just a, that's a separate company you can buy from, and they would probably gladly sell to you. And then I'm going to take off this sticker. There's a little tube of um, their grease, their thermal compound. I had actually bought a tube of stuff, but I didn't realize that they came with it. So, and I'm just going to do a nice little cross on it. Yep. this shortly with the next one probably. So there you go. And then we take oh, I better double check this. So is this this way? Yeah. Okay. This guy goes down. Go squish. And slides around a bit. Get some good coverage, and then I'm gonna slide that through. Be careful here. Oh, I'm gonna tie this here. There you go. Oh, there you go. Just very loosely get these all going. It's not where I want to go. Oh, you see, it's not quite on that pin. Mm. 
Okay, remember how I said there was a little pin down there that I had to line up? Well, basically, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little Roman numeral 2 and 3 and 1. This needs to go in, so there's the pin. And you see there's little notches down there. You want Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3 to go in on the side of the pin. And then it'll line up. And then you can fan it out. And then now everybody should be happy. So I line everything up. Alright. There's that one. I'm just barely tightening it. And let's go over here. And then here. Oh, over here. And then over here. Alright. And if you look now. No, it's not working. I won't focus. Um, yeah, you can sort of see it, but the pin's in there. And the leftmost one. You zoom back out. All right. So, now it's actually, everybody's tuned up, or will be, or will be. And don't forget to, oh, that's the other interesting thing. There's this funny little socket that they gave that's got a screwdriver end on the other side for you to um, tighten these guys up with. So you just do that. And I'm not even going to use a screwdriver, I'm going to hand tighten it. So. Let's see if we can see that. There you go. Uh, I don't like that. I'm tightening up the base now because I didn't have the base ones actually tight. Let me do this. I'm going to do this on the top. I don't know if you'll see it. There we go. Okay. So this rests on top of that. And then I can get that good and tight. And then. one there we go and this one there we go so now the base is in good now I'll finish tightening these and this doesn't need to be like that tight, you know? You don't want to bend the PCB, the green board. So, feel free to keep them a little bit on the loose side. The only thing is, you just need to keep contact between the cooler that little metal bit and the actual chip. And then it does its job. So as long as it's tight enough to do that, 
you're good. So don't over tighten. All right. So there we go. And now, if you look at this side. Um, you see that right there? Well, you put the fan back on. That's where the fan plugs in. So you see you've got, here's the part of the fan. And we can stick it back on. Which side do I want to do? I will do. I'll do this. Mm, there we go. Oh, that's going to dictate it right there. Um, so I want the fan to go here, right? And my cable's there, so. There's little latches. You just slide it in. And there. I'll get a good top view. See, there's how like a little notch. They go into that notch. And then you just very gently flex the plastic and get it over. And be gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Telling me as much as you. I didn't quite get it. Oh. <sighs> okay. I'll line this up a little better. Here we go. on your Black Miner F1 Mini now. See ya! Hey, so here they are. The FPGAs are chugging away. The only other thing I did was add these little feet. These are M3 standoffs and I got the idea from a video from Cursed Mining which I'll link below. And then I also put little pads underneath just because I didn't want them sitting straight on the concrete. These are just silicone pads, like for cooking. They'll protect against heat and ESD, and they're super cheap. They're not for real ESD pads, but, you know, hey, they're cheap. And I'm not that worried about ESD anyway, in this case. Hey, uh, the other thing I thought might be useful to know is uh, as far as giving it electricity, I've got this plugged into a 1600 watt EVGA power supply, which is amazingly overkill for it, because it's literally off of a single cable here, uh, one of the VGA lines, and these two are both sharing that one line, because they're only taking 50 watts each. The other thing I noticed is it seems like you need to put the tester thing on the end of this big cable that usually goes to the motherboard or the thing won't power up and this is so low power that the fans not even going there's a little switch to control that though right there that eco switch so if I flip that switch on the fan will kick on and just stay on or flip it back off and it'll run the fan when you want to or when you don't 
And the other thing is they each need an Ethernet cable. So, there you go. Have fun.